and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day after election day. Okay, what a night. Anyway, so this morning I'm going to share with you how to not to fall down the coffee, the rabbit hole, okay? Coffee rabbit hole. Man, that is a dangerous place to be, okay? By the way, let me know in the comment section. You guys are already in that rabbit hole, let me know, okay? Uh, I want to know how many people are in down the hole right now. Or, or some people, I know some of you out there kind of like getting ready to go down the rabbit hole, okay? And obviously a lot of you don't care about the rabbit hole, that's okay. So this video is for kind of like if you are brand new to making coffee at home. And if you are thinking about upgrading your coffee gears, uh, coffee machines or coffee tools you have, this might be good videos for you. Okay, this might be a really good video. Because, here's because. If you are making coffee right now, if your coffee tastes good, okay, stop right there, okay? Stop right there if your coffee tastes, you're happy. Okay, every morning you get up, make yourself, uh, let's see, like Americana perhaps. Okay, let me turn on the machine and make a little latte for your family, just stop, okay? The reason is whenever you guys start watching, especially, you know, younger, younger people, it sounds like I'm old, but yeah, younger people out there, like, you know, 20s and 30s, if you have time and money, uh, if you're spending a lot of time in social media, okay? P people like me, people watch me or watch, you know, whoever on YouTube or Instagram, they're showing up with these great tools, okay? They're great tools or great gadgets and great grinders. And then now they come up with the different burrs as well. And also great coffee machines too, okay? They entice you. Uh, you need that discipline right now, okay? You need that discipline. Stay away from those videos because you know what? Okay, as you can see, okay? As you can see my coffee bar, I have a lot of gadgets, okay? I have a lot of gadgets here. Goodness. I bet you my gadget cost more than my coffee machine, for sure, okay? My gadgets cost, in reality, in reality, the only thing you need, okay? If you, if you have Robert Brista Express or Pro at home, uh, just a, uh, Stock portal filter from Bravo, just fine, okay? Just stock portal filter. And then your stock temper as well. So I'm using the upgraded, okay, uh, from San Anthony. It's nice, okay, wooden trim, but still doesn't make the same coffee, okay? Make the same coffee. So, I mean, if you are making good coffee right now, all these gadgets here, It's gonna make you more, I don't wanna say, in, it's more enjoyable making a uh, cup of coffee. Just enjoyable. It's fun, okay? It is fun, make enjoyable, you know, feels premium, but nothing to do with the end result, all right? It's nothing to do with the end result. So, you know what, before we dive into it, uh, let's make a quick coffee, all right? And then I think I'm gonna make myself a quick Americana, okay? I'm gonna make myself a quick Americano. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna use any of my tools. I'm, I'm just gonna use my, my plastic dosing funnel here. That's what I'm gonna use. But I do like, uh, I do like the bottomless pore filter. The reason why I like to use my bottomless pore filter because it's a lot easier to clean, okay? And a lot easier to clean and also a lot easier to pop it up as well. And if you are getting into like, if you don't, if you want to learn more about the coffee distribution, I mean, this good tools to have, just the two fantastic tools, because whenever you do not distribute properly, you're going to see a lot of channeling there. I mean, you're going to see that. Okay. Which means if you are start thinking about your distribution, you are already in that rabbit hole. Okay. You are already in that rabbit hole that you want to improve your coffee. But if your coffee is already good right now and you're happy with it, skip this, all right? You don't need it. So I'm just gonna use my just simple 
I'm just going to put my tools away. Okay. I'm just going to put the tools away here. Let's see here. I mean, one more thing. Scales, right? So this is my, one of my favorite scale uh, from G dealer scale from Amazon. Cost me 10 bucks. Works great. Just make sure to not spill it. And, you know, I've been using it for the last couple years. Works good. The problem is, whenever you see, like, social media, even YouTube, people like me showing up new scale. Okay. This is uh, one from Timer. Fantastic scare as well you know works pretty good okay water resistant and we're starting to expose it's kind of like my here's the thing about the uh people like you know th those of us making coffee content my job is not trying to convince that you need to have this i mean what i look at it as my job to kind of like expose to what's the out there okay you know giving you that option Okay, it can be very dangerous. Okay, it can be very dangerous. So, this one does do the exact same job as this one, but this one is a little bit more fancier, you know, a little nicer. But again, it's gonna make you a better coffee? No. Okay, all right. I'm just gonna move my scare. Let's see what else. I'm gonna remove it. Oh, so this is also, I love this. I can get ready for my uh, coffee every single morning since I like to do single dose. So this one has a one-way valve on it. The, uh, this one from Normcore. Also another great tools to have. But again, just the tools, guys. The needle distribution tools. I'm going to put to the side. I don't need it. This is all time my favorite coffee tools here. Uh, the black party from San Anthony. Okay, I do like the black though, okay? I think I'm going to talk about that maybe next time. Okay, hold on, I'm going to put this one to the side. Okay, so separate grinder. Okay, that's uh, another story. All right. Obviously, you need a coffee canister. I mean, coffee canister is a must. Eh, you don't have to have it, all right? I, I'm fine with the liver on the back, but I do like, you know, so I think I'm going to leave it there. Knockbox. Nah. I used to use my garbage can for the longest time, so you, you don't have to have it. Okay. So only thing left, uh, mat, must. Okay. Pretty much it. Uh, yep. That's it. So. Instead of a lot of coffee gadgets, now I kind of like narrow down to maybe a couple of tools. All right, I'm just going to make some quick coffee. Okay, I'm just going to get that coffee ready for you guys. I know people are talking about the uh, you know WDT tools, the wise distribution technique tools. Again, a lot of fancy tools out, especially if you are using the bottomless. So this is just a homemade, uh, just a wine cork and some acupuncture needle. I'm just gonna do a quick, you know, declump everything. Again, I mean I like to using it. <clears throat> I know some people think that this is overrated. Uh, you might be right, but Kind of like part of my routine, okay? And then use my finger to just, you know, spread it, you know, nice and evenly, okay? That's it. And then just give it a quick temp. Comes to, we we'll talk about temping pressure. Just be consistent. So now you got to have nicely prepared puck. Again, man, people come up with a lot of gadgets and tools okay so this is the puck screen uh, this one become my you don't need this 
but it's, I like using it. Okay, I like I love using the puck screen. Give you that clean shower screen. I mean that's the main reason I like to use it. All right. So let's pull the shot. Okay, let's pull the shot. Ten dollar scale works just fine, folks. I got eighteen gram in. And then I'm gonna do around 40 gram out as extraction, right? Like, you know, one to two ratio. Uh, let's talk about that, you know, down the road as well. I'm planning on doing kind of like a refresher course, uh, kind of like live tutorial. We'll talk about grind, grind settings. Oh, by the way, okay, by the way, uh, now I can have guests. Now I can have a guest on YouTube now. I can add a guest, just kind of like Instagram. So if you're struggling with your grinder size or grinder setting, uh, 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 you can email me, okay? And I'd like to have you on on my live streaming. So maybe uh, we can help pretty much everybody struggle with the grinder size. So uh, we can do maybe like live troubleshoot as well. So again, if you have a Bravo Priest Express or a Pro at home, struggle with your grinder size, uh, I'd love to have you on the YouTube live, okay? You know, don't be shy about it. You know, I, I told all my guests, not a lot of people watch this channel anyway, so yeah, don't be shy. Okay, so uh, pretty much I prepared the puck, the simple WDT tools, the homemade. So let's take a look, let's take a close look. What kind of shot are we gonna get here? We're gonna see some, a lot of channeling perhaps? I don't know. Okay, shot looks pretty good overall. <clears throat> Shooting for 40 gram. It's about 20 second shot. Okay, I got 42 gram there. Yeah, 42 gram. Man, that's all crema. All right. Looks pretty good. All right, beautiful cup. And then, okay, in the, you know, the fact is in the end of the day, it doesn't matter what kind of tools you have. I mean, do I, do I have the tasty shot up? I'm gonna try a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit be before I'm gonna make myself Americano. I'm just gonna start it well. Here we go, happy Wednesday, guys. Chocolatey. Nori, very earthy, kind of a medium body to it. Yeah, uh, very clean finished. Even though it's, this is only about 20 second shot. At uh, 20 second shot, so right now, people are curious about my grind size. My grind size are number 11, which means maybe I'll go down to even number like nine, okay? Like two notch lower. Go down to maybe like number nine to get it. Get the kind of like extract it a little farther, okay? Maybe like 25, 25 second shot. All right, at this point, uh, let's make some Americano, okay? Or long black, Those, uh, all depend on which part of country you're in. I'm just gonna get some hot water out. Why are we are waiting for hot water? Okay, uh, let me know in the comment section, how many of you thinking about upgrading your coffee machine. Okay. I'm talking about if you have a Pro or Express, holidays coming up right now. You got uh, Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Yeah, how many of you are actually thinking about upgrading your machine? Yeah, let me know. By the way, uh, let's see here. Uh, if you have any questions or comment, let me take a look at your live question too. Hopefully anybody has a live. I got my computer here. We got some few people on this morning. We got the uh, shout out to Asian Dev, Dogman's on. You got Jordan's on. Rabbit hole, like buying tools. We Jordan may mention, yeah, like buying tools. We don't really need. Answer is yes. Okay, the rabbit hole is about you are buying stuff. Okay, you are buying stuff. It's gonna be make enjoyable. Okay, it's about making enjoyable. 
But, uh, yep, Jordan mentioned, yeah, leave the YouTube, or better yet, leave the, especially Instagram. The Instagram has a lot of beautiful photos and beautiful shot of uh, espresso. You just, you compare things, right? You compare things. You know what? I mean, this, you know, this coffee machine bring out the best in cup. How come my coffee, you know, how come my coffee look like subpar, okay, mediocre, all right? Yeah, and the young man say, now that he at 100K, he's saying, don't go into the hole. Shout out to young man. Yeah. yeah so Jordan get the, yeah, yeah. Dogman mentioned about the Normcore products. Let's see here. Your Linda's on. Two Linda's. Yeah, here we go. Hold on a second. Yeah. You got the, a lot of chatty going on right now. Okay, we have a lot of chatty. All right. And the Andrew asked me, okay, what do you think about, think about getting the Elizabeth, uh, Lillette Elizabeth, okay? All right, Lillette. So now, Robert brought up uh, Lillette. So, Lillette Elizabeth, I mean, it all depends on which machine you have right now, right? If you have like Pro or Express, is that worth upgrading your coffee machine? Which means you need to willing to spend money on grinder as well, okay? Yeah, so we are, you got to willing to spend money on grinder. Uh, Jim Park say, Bravo dual boiler, wait. I already did. Yeah, okay, so dual boiler is also great machine. So, if you have, hold on, let me finish making coffee here. Let's see here. So, Okay. Here we go. Cheers, guys. Good. Good coffee. All right. Man, this is a tough one, folks. Because, I mean, I mean, as, I mean, I think I consider it as a YouTuber, right? Okay. I got a few subscribers on my belt. And because, all my last three years, my channel is pretty much is all about this machine right here, uh, Bravo Vista Express and Pro. Yes, I do have the dual boiler at my other location as well. I have the grinders. I got them all. But I'm, I mean, those of us, you know, we are we are lucky enough to you know play with the coffee every single day. I mean, but ninety percent out there, you know what? Let me rephrase that, 99% of you out there, you are busy working, get up in the morning, hopefully you're going to press that button and you are going to make coffee within next 10 minutes, okay, with the 10 minutes and then go out the door, all right? So you make yourself black coffee here and then you are going to get yourself some kind of tumbler okay put the coffee in drive away all right i'm i'm talking to you guys okay not dogman or not asian dev who else is that a young man yeah, yeah young man definitely young man yeah i think a young man definitely he does not need the fancy coffee machine for sure all right because I mean, end of day, okay? Again, the end of day, if you are making good coffee right now, and if you're happy with it, stop right there, all right? Stop right there, okay? But you are the person that, like Dogman22, you really enjoys the uh, turbo shots, okay? The blooming shots. You're gonna go out there, you're looking for the seek out the lighter roast, all right, from, you know, all over the world, okay? And then if you're looking for anaerobic, the process, supernatural process, I mean, those people, I'm talking to you guys, and uh, you guys need obviously a better machine, okay? More like a better grinder, all right? And then you are start looking for that, okay, what's the best grinder for that? 
That's also another topic. By the way, so how many of you out there, how many 64 millimeter birds out? Okay. The number of 64 millimeter birds. Any guesses? Is it over and under 10? Okay. I say 10. Okay. There are 10 different 64 millimeter birds already. So this is DF, uh, this is DF64. Okay. It's called DF64E. All right. So they have a DF64, the 64 millimeter. I'm going to shout out to Joe. Man, this, uh, this one, so ever since, I guess the pandemic, you know, kind of increased the coffee consumption uh, last couple of years. And this company from China, they, they innovate. I know the innovate is like loosely term, okay? They come up with a fantastic, the 64 millimeter grinder. So now you guys have a lot of options for the coffee hobbyist. So not only that, I mean, gosh, the comes to tours wise, like Normcore, uh, Ryan mentioned about earlier, the Normcore coming up with uh, pretty much fantastic coffee tours. All right, so this is, uh, it's called WDT, the needle distribution tool from Normcore. The, the, it's called, a company called Duomo A from Korea, my, my home country. Duomo A come up with very similar design, okay? So they are the one, they are the first. Uh, come out well, a couple years ago. Fantastic copy tools. Okay, they're selling for what two something, okay, over 200 bucks. And the years later, obviously the Amazon coming up with very similar products, okay? So they used to be over $200. Now you can get one for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 70 bucks now. Okay, all depends on where, where, where you go. So as coffee hobbyist, okay, if you're a coffee hobbyist, now you have a lot of options for affordable options. Okay, now you have a lot of affordable options. So this is the Bravo Spring Loaded Tools, okay. Premium made, fantastic tools. Again, if you go to Amazon, you can get a similar tools for the fraction of the cost. So here, here's my point. Once you fall down, fall down to the, the coffee rabbit hole, now you are going to start collecting things. I mean, that, that's kind of like one thing, you know, I highly recommend not to do. Okay. Uh, yes, I mean, you know, for me, you know, that's kind of like my, my hobby and I'm making videos out of it. So, you know, for me, you know, that's worth it to me, okay? Collecting things and showing up to some showcase. But the, my question is, the real question is, is that necessary for you guys? Because, I mean, stock, okay, stock temper from Bravo works just fine. So this one is the premium, okay, temper from San Anthony, but, you know, precise. Uh, 50, I believe this is 53.3 millimeter. Uh, if you go to some other tools there, I believe the Pullman, the Big Step, finally they are making this one now as well. Uh, they are making 53.5 millimeter temper too. So they, uh, they used to, they don't make the 53 millimeter for the Bravo uh, owners, but now most companies out there, they're coming up with the gadgets for 50, for uh, kind of a Bravo family there. So which means you guys have a lot more opportunity to get more stuff. Again, I'm, I'm trying to go back to the initial question. Uh, if you're happy with your coffee right now, okay, the added tools, is not gonna make your coffee better. Okay, let's put it that way, okay? It's not gonna make coffee better. And uh, it's all about the coffee, folks, all right? All about the coffee, get the fresh, I mean, you can get the freshest roast coffee. You can pour it, all right, for sure. Okay, fresh roast coffee. And then, you know, try different coffees, okay? Do I like light roast? Do I like darker roast, medium roast? So I highly encourage you to try new coffee beans. And then you realize, you know what? I, I, I like medium to dark roast, right? I like the medium to dark roast. I, my go-to coffee is... Americano or occasionally make your uh, latte, 
Okay. Cappuccino. All right. Brista Express, those or Pro, those fine job. Stop there. All right. But you are the person that, you know what? I'm really liking the, the naturally processed Ethiopia. And if not, I want, you know, or I'm, I'm getting into geisha, okay? Those lighter roasts, which means a different story. Uh, the grinder, for a uh, built-in grinder is somewhat limited. So now you need to think about getting a better grinder, okay? Get the grinder first, right? Uh, I mean, this machine is still good enough. So get the better grinder, start exploring the lighter roast and go from there. But again, I mean, if you are happy with coffee right now, I mean, just try not to, okay, fall down the hole. It's hard to get out, all right? It's hard to get out. Because, uh, uh, because as, as you guys know, I have a Discord channel. Any, uh, anybody can join. People I see every single day, we are hanging out every single day, okay? I mean, they are the one, you know, they are coffee, hobbyist, and that's all we talk about every single day. What are you drinking this morning? Okay, what are you brewing? What is your brewing method? We talk about it all the time. If you are that person, okay, you are in the right place, all right? But if you only care about, hey, what is your grind size on your Bravo Brista Express? All right, if you, are, uh, if you are one of those people, you are in the right place. That's all we talk about you know, my grinder size. So yeah, so again, I hope this video little helps, okay? Put the shed a light on, you know, your coffee hobbyist out there wants to expand your tools. But if you want to get a tool, if I were you, okay, save the money, all right? Save the money and then get the tools you really want, all right? Don't skip it, okay? You know, just, just save the money. Uh, uh, what, uh, what I mean by that is just skip the mediocre product. Not the mediocre, but you know, if you want the tools you really want, save the money and get it. Okay. And just like do a uh, Brista Express. E I mean, if you want the dual boiler with the Rory pump, quiet, with the PID built in. I mean, if you can only afford to, can, if you, if you cannot afford to only get the kind of like in betweener, my thing is just wait, okay? Just, just wait a little longer, all right? Just, just keep using your uh, Espresso Pro and then get the machine you want. So you're gonna be much happier with it. And back to the grinder, do not skimp on the grinder, folks, okay? Do not skimp on the grinder. Uh, just make sure you get the right grinder and get the right birds, all right? Make sure you get the right birds. Oh, we're gonna talk about that uh, uh, coming days and coming weeks. Man, 64 millimeter, wow. It's crazy out there. It's, it's, I mean, they have, you have a lot of options. Okay? You have a lot of options for amazing bird sets. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna check one last time for the, I'm glad to see we got people on this morning. You guys are chit-chatting as well. Shout out to Florian. Okay, you got, I got, oh, shout out to Melvin. Malaysia, goodness, it's been a while, buddy. Okay. All right, so Mateo, we got Mato is on. David. Okay, Dave has a question. Whenever poor or great shot, second shot doesn't come out. Yeah. Uh, uh, comes to consistency on Express, that, uh, that is one downside of a Bravo Brista Express or Pro. Okay. Uh, Pro is okay. Uh, Pro has a uh, consistency, but it comes to, if you have Express, if you get a great shot, the second shot might be mediocre and third shot might be good. So it all depends. Let's see here. We've got the Summers on. We've got the Ahmet, Mr. Ano. Access, stay, starting to have your wall. Then you hit the access stage. You have to start hanging things on your wall. I don't know what that is there. Yep. Yeah, G uh, Jin say, yeah, every, you know, Jin say everybody in the rabbit hole, if you are watching me. Yeah, and that's true, okay? 
That is, I mean, you guys are watching me right now. I mean, you guys are already in the, the rabbit hole, all right? That gene is correct because, and we are talking about coffee every morning. Goodness. I mean, we are, you know what? I mean, I, I feel lucky, all right? I feel lucky enough to, you know, talk to you every single morning, you know, in life, drink some cup of coffee, talk about coffee. Man, how cool is that, guys? How cool is that? Weather's nice right now. 71 degree in Arizona. It's fantastic. Okay, this is fantastic there. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, by the way, I do have a cooking channel, okay? I'm gonna put the link down below, Hoon's Kitchen. Uh, I just, I, I've been doing it about three years. Okay, my passion is uh, coffee and cooking. I just started. So I think I have about 700 people follow me right now, but yeah. I mean, again, so we're gonna do some more cooking. Not, not this channel, but my other channel. Uh, we're gonna have some fun. Okay, we're gonna have some fun. The other day, we are, I was making some ramen noodle. One of my favorite food. And that, that's all I ate when I was growing up in Korea, so yeah. I bet you young man knows too. Uh, we got some few uh, Korean viewers. Anyway, uh, I think we are good for this morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. And I'm gonna see you guys next time. Uh, I'll be back uh, this afternoon, okay? We're gonna do the, uh, let's do like afternoon session as well. And I'm trying to go, at least in the morning, I wanna be somewhat consistent. So, you know, you guys come over and hang out with us. Okay, see you guys next time.